Hello, everybody. Uh, Rock a million here with Real Progressives. I'm going to talk today about the government and dollars being the means of production. Um, when I say that, the whole point of government is in dollars is to facilitate trade and to make production efficient enough to support the general welfare of society as constitutionally mandated. The general welfare is all through the Constitution and the preamble, Article 1, all through it. It's the, uh, the public purpose is the only mandate of the government. The general welfare. Uh, think about if I had a house and I need a way to get work done on my house every day. And so I, I impose a tax on my kids. Now my kids need to find Rocco Dog. The only way they could get Rocco dollars is if they do work for me, and I give them Rocco dollars. Now, at the end of the week, I tax my Rocco dollars back, not to spend. I tax my Rocco dollars back so that the kids keep needing Rocco dollars, and so they keep having to do work to get Rocco dollars. This is how I, I, I get my housework done in perpetuity, continuously. Uh, it's a means of production. That's all it is. It's a social construct. Uh, government is the same way. It spends dollars into existence to facilitate trade and make production efficient enough to support the general welfare of society. Um, so it, 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 it puts a tax on me. I got to go and sell my goods and services to get the dollars so that I can pay my tax, stay free, and keep my stuff. Um, this is how the government, you know, provisions itself and the general welfare with real resources. So uh, taxation creates unemployment so that the government can provision itself and the general welfare of society with real resources per paid employment. You know, that's, that's the whole deal. Um, now, once government spends more dollars into, into the economy than it taxes out, now we in the economy can save dollars and do business amongst each other. All right, that, it, it, that's net dollars in the economy. Deficit spending is the only way to put net dollars into the economy so that we could save dollars and do business amongst each other. And now would, we're always dependent and subservient upon the government sector to keep injecting these net dollars into the economy, deficit spending. Uh, that's the only way it works. The only other option, you know, uh, private credit can substitute for federal spending, but it's a bad substitute because private credit always dries up. And that leads to booms, busts, and bailouts that again only help the rich. So, we need government to spend, all right? And when you realize government taxation creates the unemployment, it's government's duty then to maintain full employment for that same general welfare. You know, having starving people homeless without no money all over the place, that ain't how you get civil society. That's not the general welfare, you know. Um, that's something different. If we have unemployment and we have work that needs done, why on earth would government not maximize that productive capacity? You know, a government can always hire up all the unemployed with a, a federally guaranteed living wage job for everyone who wants one and get to doing all the work that our communities need. Our communities are starved of human resources. They're starved of infrastructure. And we got unemployment just lying around. We got unused productive capacity. It makes no sense, you know, it actually makes sense, but not, not in a good way. It makes sense for the capitalists, for the 1%, okay? They, they keep us in a state of uh, artificial scarcity, <laughs> fighting amongst ourselves for scraps instead of uniting in solidarity behind this unifying economic framework, MMT, that describes our operational reality. All right, that's the only way. If we don't know how the system works, how are we going to fix it? There, it's absolutely impossible at that point. We have to understand that government is the means of production. Government, through its power to impose tax and be the monopoly issuer of the only tax credit, it owns the non-government sector. Plus, it has its regulatory powers. 
how government spends decides what gets produced, how it gets produced, where it gets produced, how it gets distributed. It's the means of production. They set the price. They, I tell the kids how much I'm going to pay them for their work. I set the price. I'm the issuing authority. You know, so when you realize this, then you realize, well, why would they keep unemployment then? Why wouldn't, why would they want unemployment? And it's simple. They, they keep a buffer stock of the unemployed for the capitalist class to wage war on labor with. The capitalist class loves having that buffer stock of unemployment. They love having these armies of unemployed so desperate they'll undercut each other and work for starvation wages under horrible conditions. You know, that puts downward pressure on all labor wages in, in working conditions. Now, if I go and ask my boss for a little more, he could say, hey, you better shut up and go do your work. Uh, there's people outside that'll do your job for less than you. You know, that puts downward pressure on all of us. Instead, government can keep a buffer stock of full employment. And this would empower the working class against the predatory nature of capitalism. It would transform society. It would transform, every, you know, th this would stop, this would fight racial discrimination and police terror. It would fight uh, imperialism, for-profit imperialism. It would fight poverty, homelessness, crime. Uh, you know, a federal job guarantee would be the democratic means of production, of social production, you know. And uh, through that, through full employment, we have labor to train for single-payer health care or green sustainable energy or, um, you know, education, uh, K through college. You know, this is the whole thing. This is what government's purpose is. Public debt for society and a higher standard of living is the entire point of government and dollars to begin with. This is why government does this. They spend dollars into existence to facilitate trade and make production efficient enough to support the general welfare. All right, it's up. So government owns everything. That's why I say that government owns everything. They own the non-government sector. The non-government sector. We never need our own. The government never needs its own tax credits to spend and operate. It creates the tax credits. It taxes the private sector as a way of getting real resources to provision itself and society. All right, that's that's the whole point. And when it gets the dollar back, it, it taxes it back out of out of existence. It's closing the loop. It's a closed system. So we got to keep on spending more dollars in to keep getting more production and more output, and then it taxes the dollars back out. To, to maintain demand for the dollar and to keep the economy from overheating, uh, leading to a situation where there's demand outstripping supply. Real quick, uh, back during um, the Second World War, our economy was humming and we had the whole economy was focused on output for the war machine. And uh, Everyone had good jobs producing all this stuff, but that left less real resources for the people in society. And so, um, but they still had these good jobs and were making good money. So they had demand. So there was so too much demand outstripping the supply of real resources because it was all going to the war effort. So as a way to control uh, that extra demand, uh, you know, and control the inflation, the government sold sold war bonds and they taxed and, and that was a way of getting the extra demand extra dollars out of the economy uh, to control the inflation so that the people didn't have as much purchasing power uh, to get more real resources than were available and, and so that's that's what the function is all right so and at the end of the day the government owns the non-government sector with its power to impose tax and be the monopoly issuer of the only tax credit and its regulatory authority. Government owns the non-government. We the whole point of government is to create dollars and uh, you know and to uh, maintain the general welfare of society. That's the means of production. We need full employment, targeted full employment. If we're out there now arguing about 
uh, the debt being a burden, how are we going to argue to increase deficits to target full employment? It, it doesn't work like that. It can't work like that. That's how we get austerity. That's how people accept intentional poverty. Uh, it, we got to understand that the private sector doesn't fund government. Government funds the private sector. Federal spending funds taxpayers who then pay their tax or buy bonds uh, or whatever. It's never the other way around. We're not on the gold standard anymore. When we were on the gold standard, uh, the government couldn't spend, couldn't increase the money supply without the gold reserves to back it or else it would devalue the dollar. It would give it less intrinsic value. Each dollar would be less worth less gold. But now that's not the case. Government doesn't exchange gold for dollars. It only promises to take your dollar back to extinguish your tax obligation. So the dollar now has no intrinsic value to lose. All right, it, it has personal value in that it allows you to pay your tax, stay out of jail, and keep your stuff. All right, so every dollar spent is a liability of the government. They're promising to accept it back to ex, uh, expel your tax obligation. And it's an asset simultaneously with the private sector because it gets it, it extinguishes your tax obligation. All right, that's the whole thing. Uh, that we that personal value in the fiat dollar will never go away unless government loses its ability to tax. All right, so we don't got to worry. Now there's no barrier. Before we had to worry about the gold reserves. Uh, now there's no barrier to federal spending except for real resources, inflation. All right, so this is why we spend dollars into the economy. It's to produce and support the general welfare not the capitalist class. We need full employment. Uh, we need the government to target full employment. That deficit should correspond to whatever full employment is. It's real simple. The money part of the equation doesn't matter. That's infinite. The only thing that matters is that the real resources are available for you to buy with that money. Learn macroeconomic reality. Learn our uh, operational reality, MMT. This is the only, this is the only way you can uh, destroy the myths and the legends that are, that are shooting ourselves in the foot. We have good intentioned people that aren't paying attention. They're, they're, they don't understand the operational reality. So they're out there fighting to tax the rich. Well, taxes are destroyed upon receipt. All right. I, if I tax my kids and I get my tax revenue from the kids up in, in the house scenario, you know, that doesn't give me any more spending power. I can always create more Rocco dollars. The government doesn't have any more spending power when it increases tax revenue. It can it, all federal spending is new dollars created by fiat from thin air. Dollars are just a social construct. It's just a law. That's all it is. It's about producing. It's about production. <laughs> so come on, people. Get on Real Progressives. Check out, uh, look out, look up Dr. Stephanie Kelton. Look up Ellis Winningham, Dr. Bill Mitchell. You know, um, there's a ton. There's a ton of people with the truth. Real Progressives is putting it down. MMT is the real, is the revolutionary vehicle we've all been waiting for. People are dying. We don't got time for this. Please understand our operational reality. Unite in solidarity for the public purpose. We need a sec. We need an economic bill of rights. The centerpiece being a federally guaranteed living wage job program. Thank you guys. Uh, Rocco Million. Uh, be back later. Uh, remember that tonight is the uh, Dem Exit Dem Enter debate. Uh, and uh, on Real Progressives, and make sure you tune in. It's going to be a good one. Thanks, guys. Peace.